so if you're watching this video i'm assuming you also have troubles messaging merchants on i do fish because of the identity verification problem okay so in this video i am going to show you how to verify your identity as an international user on i do fish and be able to message merchants and you know probably buy whatever it is you want to buy on the platform okay so um this particular method is going to work for you regardless of any country it is that you're watching from you just need um, an international passport okay you need an international passport if you don't have an international passport you can't verify your identity on i do fish so you need an international passport and the reason why this verification is important is because every user that signs up on i do fish can either buy or sell so in case you're selling and you know you try to defraud people it is easy to you know um track you down because of this identity verification that you're going to do here they're going to have your information at this and it is going to be easier to track you down you know if they just allow everybody on the platform to you know to buy or sell without verifying their identity of course people are going to you know um take advantage of that and different people so that is why this identity verification is important in this video i am going to show you how to verify your identity as an international user on the platform so um let's get to the video so I'm trying to message a merchant. Let me quickly show you guys the message so that you can see that when I try to message a merchant, the message is not going through, okay? So as you can see, this is my message here. Okay, not this one. Let me go back and show you the message. So I'm trying to message a merchant and I'm unable to message them because I haven't completed my identification verification. And as you can see, the message is just showing a red button at the front of it like a danger sign. When I click on that, it is going to tell me to verify my identity. So the only way you can verify your identity uh, with this is to get your international passport ready. Like I said earlier in the video, you need an international passport for the verification, okay? So after getting your international passport, you're going to head back to the, to the home page, okay? You're going to head back to the home page and you're going to click on your profile. After clicking on your profile, you're going to see a settings icon at the top right hand corner. You're going to click on that settings icon. And you're going to see two options in my case it is two in yours it could be one okay in my case it is two options the user identification verification and the real person identification so i have to complete this two verification in order to be able to use i do fish okay so we're going to start with the first one which is the user id information okay so we're going to fix that now you're going to click on the user id information when you click on that it is going to direct you to this page here so when you get to this page, you're going to be told to verify your identity. The problem most people face when they get here is that the, the form of verification here is only for Chinese users, okay? So when I message the customer care, they let me understand that just below that Chinese user's identification, there is a button there that says they use other authentication methods. So you're going to click on that, use other authentication methods, okay? And when you click on that, it is going to direct you to this page where there is, you know, a list of countries or a list of regions that you can verify from, okay? So you're going to click on that. I'm going to show you. The first one is for mainland users. The second one is for Hong Kong users. The third one is for Taiwan users. While the fourth one is passport authentication. Now, this passport authentication is the one everybody from, you know, different countries can use, okay? So you're going to get your international passport and you're going to click on this passport authentication. So I'm going to click on passport authentication. As you can see, it says support foreign, support foreigners to use passports for authentication, okay? So we're going to click on this and as you can see, it directed me to a page where it asked me to you know upload my passport so i'm going to upload my passport photograph now and i'm going to verify my name and my you know and my identity so let me just quickly do that okay so you're going to take a picture of your passport or you're going to select it from your you know from your from your album if you already have the picture before okay as you can see i have uploaded my passport I enter the country the passport was issued from, which is my country, Nigeria, and um, you will be asked to enter your real name. You're going to enter it and you'll be asked to enter your passport number. You're going to enter that also. Then you're going to accept the terms and condition of I do fish, of course. After accepting the terms and condition, you're going to click on the yellow icon right there. I'm going to click on the yellow icon now and I'm going to verify my testing. As you can see, it is processing. It is processing. So let's just wait a little bit for the process to finish. And there it is. 
my identity has been verified okay now remember in my case it is two this is just the first one so you're going to go back again as you can see my identity has been verified you're going to go back and verify the second one which is the real person authentication okay now in this real person authentication this is where they are going to confirm your face to be sure that um the passport you uploaded belongs to you okay so you're just going to accept the terms and condition you're going to click on next let me just show you what the page is showing here in order for us to verify your identity blah 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 just you know skip this click on accept your terms and condition of course read the terms and con nobody reads terms and conditions anyway but read and accept so you're going to be asked to upload a picture of your passport photograph again so you're going to get that and you're going to upload a picture of your passport as you can see i have uploaded a picture of my passport it has confirmed my name again as you can see so the next thing it is going to do is it is going to ask you to verify your face and as you can see that is my face right there my black face i am verifying my face now after verifying my face it is going to you know use your machine your ai machine to confirm if the passport photograph and the face is matching if both is matching it is going to approve you so it takes seconds anyway in my case it took about let's say 30 to 40 seconds okay it just loads and the team verifies so that is how you are going to do it um let's wait for it to finish loading and yeah as you can see um it is saying your certification is under review please be patient so it is going to do this as long as you've done this just leave the page so i'm going to exit the page now and as you can see when the two yellow icon that was here before is no longer showing so if i click on this now and i try translating it you're going to see that it is going to say that my identity is certified so now i'm going to try to message the merchant again and see if it works okay so let's go back to the me the merchant i was trying to message earlier and message the merchant and see if it is going to work okay so um where's that particular merchant again okay this is the merchant and yep i just send them a text and instead of showing the danger sign it is now you know the test has been delivered i think the match has seen the text and as you can see they replied my message so this is how you verify your identity on i do fish